Beauties, it's me, Allegra. Babes, I figured I would take you guys along with me today. I'm going to do a photo shoot in my backyard. So this is like a home photo shoot. Um, but you know, it's all good. My husband's the photographer, so you know. <laughs> but no, it's it's great. I've done professional photo shoots before and it's, it's all the same, it's all good. Except I'm gonna do the hair, the makeup. I'm the stylist, they have makeup bars, the hair stylist, I'm, and my husband's a photographer, so. Anyway guys, I've already been getting ready. Actually, let me tell you, I'm gonna do a little photo shoot for Cup She Swimwear. So I'm gonna wear a few bikinis, so this is a bikini photo shoot. Let me show you where I'm at right now. Since we're talking about the bikinis, I figured, I normally don't do this, but um, when I'm gonna take a bikini photo shoot, I'll put on this here. So I put on this Sally Hansen airbrush legs, but I put this on my whole body. So it just makes your stomach look super, it looks more firm. It hides any, you know, if you do have cellulite and things like that or stretch marks, it will hide it. So I do have all of that in a bit <laughs> and more. So um, yeah, this hides everything. So I did put this on already, but before I put this on, let me just share with you guys. I already took a shower. And I do exfoliate and I use this sponge here. I absolutely love this sponge. It, the front side is super gritty. It does come with like a body shampoo in it, but I do, I use my own shampoo as well because I love the scent of the Laura Mercier, the Amber Vanilla. So I use Amber Vanilla, I put it on here, and then this helps to reduce cellulite. It exfoliates your skin. I do get these at Marshalls, but they have them at Ulta. So I'll have a link below because these are amazing, especially if you live in hard water. It takes off any hard water residue so this is and plus I do feel like it makes your skin look smoother and it just exfoliates before you go in with self tanner or like I did today I used the Sally Hansen airbrush like so I exfoliate and then I do this but I also did shave of course so <laughs> I should probably go in order right guys but I this razor that I got from my ipsy box is amazing I am so obsessed with my razor that I normally use so I never thought I would love this razor so much but this razor is amazing. So actually I did shave first, then exfoliate, and then put on the body makeup. But guys, the thing about this razor that's so amazing is that this is come this is from their refreshments line. But what's so amazing I noticed is that it lasted forever. Because normally I was using a chic razor or a chic razor, the men's, and this one is amazing. I would love, I gotta figure out how to buy more of these. They last. This lasts so long, I, it's been over a month and it's, or maybe a few weeks, but it's still working perfectly. It still gives you the best shave ever. So this is amazing. So I did actually style my hair already. I was just styling my hair, but I shampooed my hair, guys. I wanted to tell you guys about this. I've been shampooing with this. This is a, a hair care company. They make shampoo and conditioner, but custom made especially for you. So you can tell them your needs, your concerns, your wants, and they will custom make a shampoo for you. So I had my shampoo made specially for, I, has, I had requested a glossy hair treatment. Also, I requested to have a formula which would help my hair grow longer and be thicker and I actually have noticed a huge difference my hair looks much thicker and it's amazing what they do is they pair you up with a specialist who helps you custom create the perfect shampoo for you so whatever whatever your concern may be whatever you're interested in in terms of your hair what you might need they will custom create the perfect shampoo for you. You can also create the scent that you like. I prefer no, no to low scent, so this is the shampoo. And then here is the conditioner. The shampoo you leave in for about two minutes, so you put the shampoo in your hair, you leave it in for two minutes, then you wash it out, and then you put the conditioner in. These are sulfate-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free. They are freshly dispensed just for you and beauties I'm super excited today because they have collabed with me in order to offer you beauties a giveaway today and we are going to be having a, a giveaway today so if you'd like to enter to win your own custom shampoo and conditioner for yourself from formulate then just click the link below and that will take you to the giveaways entry site on the formulate site so you could be entered to win so just Follow the link below and you will be entered into the giveaway so you can win your own Formulate 
custom shampoo and conditioner for yourself. So guys, like I was saying earlier, I've already styled my hair. I'm gonna do beachy waves today, so I took out my, my curling iron and I do use this amazing heat protectant before I curl. And then also, a really great tip I figured out recently is after you curl your hair, you wanna go ahead and put some hairspray on each curl. And then it just helps the curls to stay so much better. I just never used hairspray too much before. And then you just go ahead and leave it on each curl. I'm gonna go do my makeup now. And then after I do my makeup, I'll brush these curls out and it just makes a really, it helps your curls to last and it makes a really great effect. Because I used to brush, I used to brush them as soon as I curled them or I wasn't hairspraying them as much. I would use a little bit of hairspray, but hairspray each curl, it makes a huge difference. So beauties, I'm not gonna probably do as much makeup as I usually do because I am doing a bikini photo shoot. So I feel like, you know, you wanna go for a more kind of natural aesthetic, a more natural look since, you know, when you're at the beach, you really don't do a cake face. Look how shiny I am. What did I put on my face? Oh, I just did a sheet mask, guys. I did a sheet mask before I came and talked to you guys. So I actually used that sheet mask that I unboxed the other day. It was a ginger and vitamin C sheet mask. So I wasn't, I forgot that I put it on actually. Let me see. Now I'm looking at myself. I'm like, wow, I look kind of glowy, right? I'm so shocked. But anyway, let me just go ahead and do this really quickly because my, you know, I didn't even tell my husband I was doing this, so he has no idea like that. I just signed him up to be my photographer for the day. Like he might, I know he has other plans, <laughs> but to be honest, guys, my photos, I do them so fast. So I, I've seen other people and they, and they, you know, they take hours or take like hundreds of pictures or thousands of pictures. My husband would never stick around for that he would i don't think i don't think that i could ever get my husband to take like 100 pictures of me or whatever yeah I, he just takes like five pictures and he's like okay they're done so i have to like be ready <laughs> it's not that he's like not nice about it but you know i know it's not his thing it's not everybody doesn't like taking pictures you know i'm not gonna if i asked him you know to take a whole bunch of pictures i mean 100 i he would but I wouldn't ask him to do that because I know he doesn't like taking pictures. <laughs> He's not into it, you know, so I'm not going to ask him to do that. So I just, he just takes like five, maybe ten the most. <laughs> so our whole photo shoot that I'm speaking about today is not going to, it's not going to take that long. But the thing it's about today is that I have like five different bikinis to wear and bathing suits. So he doesn't know, he's not gonna be anticipating that. Cause he's used, he's used to just going one, two, three and we're done. But now I'm gonna ask him to take five pictures. So he's, he'll do it, he'll do it though. Like he's not, I know he's not doing anything right now. So he's just like gardening and whatnot. So he'll, he'll definitely do it for, you know, he would do that for me. I do so many things for him, you know. I do a lot of things. I run, I help my husband like every day. So he doesn't mind helping me, you know. I help him with his, you know, business stuff. Guys, I do have my, I know you guys know I have my towel on, but people will say you're naked, but you know. <laughs> so you know what I noticed guys, ever since I got my brows just right, I feel like as long as you have, brows are just a total look. You can actually just do your brows and cover your circles and put on a little translucent powder and you are like, good you know you're good to go but you know i was obsessed with brows for the longest time this is the uh, revlon primer i'm so obsessed with so i actually i was so obsessed with brows i used to go get my brows done at anastasia beverly hills uh because i was like oh my god i i thought that they would help me get those brows but and i would go there my brows wouldn't come out looking like this and i was like why not but I found out, guys, you know, it's all about the brow. It's about drawing them on. It's not, like no brow technician is going to be able to pluck your brows to look like this. Like unless you go to a brow, a microblader artist who knows what they're doing, then maybe they could do, then they would do this. But I used to be like, why don't my brows look like that? And then they told me they were going to grow them out. I needed to grow them, but they never really grew. They're not going to ever grow this to look like this this is you have to draw these on <laughs> but they didn't really explain that to me you know so guys i got this some of you might have seen me unbox this the other day but this is my first time i'm going to look at it with you guys i'm going to use this today so this is the morphe madison beer palette oh my god guys this is stinking gorgeous wow how beautiful is this oh my god to be completely honest guys looking at that i'm thinking why did i buy that tom ford 
eyeshadow because these are like the same kind of colors and I'm sure this was like probably $25 or you know no more I'm sure I'm sure it was it could have been $18 because you know Morphe is not you know it's not expensive I'm just gonna do a quick and natural eye though with these beautiful shades so I'll just dip right into this the, the lightest shade in the palette here and I just tap it on like so that's this is just like my top four and I think it's gonna be just like my top four. <laughs> and that was so, yeah, this looks just like the top four, you guys. This is so beautiful. Um, It's not patchy. That was just one tap in and look at, it's just so intense and pigmented and gorgeous and creamy. This is so beautiful. Just doing something really quick and easy, guys. I'll take one of the darker shades like this one, put that on the outer portion of my eye. Just cause like I said, I'm just doing a natural kind of look, beachy kind of look. This is beautiful. Wow, this isn't patchy either. And then I'll just go back with the previous shade and just tap out the edges just to blend the darker shade. I just tap the edges with the lighter shade and then go back in with the clean fluffy brush and just blend that out really quick. And these are the Madison Beer brushes. These are amazing from Morphe. This one I thought was gonna be too fluffy, but it's fluffy. It's super fluffy, but it's firm. So that's really different because usually sometimes the, the fluffy brushes are not firm and I and I, you know, it's not, that's not really great for me, but this is fluffy and firm. So this is amazing. And then I'm going to take one of the small detailing brushes from, this is the Madison Beer uh, brush collection and just smudge that on the outer portion of my eye. I'm just going to clean off the excess eyeshadow and then just blend the front work, the front part of my eye inwards. So I get a nice blend. I'm just taking an angle brush guys with one of the darker shades. This is also from the Madison Beer palette. I mean Madison Beer Brush Collection. This is so phenomenal, you guys. So guys, how gorgeous is that? Make that so like before I go in with the foundation, guys, I'm gonna just pop on some of this Laura Mercier. This is her Secret Camouflage Cream. This It's just so good at concealing your circles. It is a more drier formulation, but it just doesn't move. It doesn't budge. It conceals like you will not believe. It just totally takes away the purple circles. I want this to be like a more soft makeup look since it's kind of like a beach makeup look. <laughs> so that's why I'm just gonna leave it at that. But guys, I, this foundation is so crazy good. It's, like I said, it's the, the Makeup Forever. I just pump some out, but then it comes out very gel-like. So you want to kind of break it up. I, this is what I do at least, so I kind of you know emulsify it a bit more because it's very gel like when it first comes out of the bottle but this gives you the most gorgeous glow you've ever seen the most gorgeous look to your skin is what i'm trying to say um it's gives you just it's so natural looking and it gives you coverage it definitely does give you coverage but your own skin kind of peeks through but your own skin one just looks amazing so because it, it gives it like a certain kind of look. I don't know how to describe it to your natural skin. So it is, it's not your natural, it's like they say your natural skin, but better. It's light as, it's water weight. So it's definitely feels like water. But when it dries down, the way it makes your skin look is so crazy because you do see your natural skin. Actually, I couldn't wait to come and tell you guys about it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to look too too pale today i'm trying to go for a tan look like i said but i'll just put a little bit of that and i'm just going to quickly set this with some setting powder translucent this is the laura mercier translucent setting powder so guys that finish is just so beautiful like in real life i feel like you do it's not going to take away your indentation and things like that because but it gives you just such a gorgeous look and i started to realize i said who cares like if you see it in it the indentation sometimes it's just, that looks great you know who cares people have indentation i don't know like i always say i don't know if you guys maybe you'll see it if i put on a full coverage concealer it would cover the indentation but i'm like you know what that's i think it's a look i have a sudden i decided the other day i said you know what indentation is a look who cares <laughs> it's nat it's normal it's natural um so i'm just going to take some of this contour powder here from Too Faced and just do a little bit of contouring. Yeah, I've always been like insecure about it and I was just like, who cares? It, that's great. That's how it looks gorgeous. You know, it's it's how God made us. Who said that we have to get our eyes filled in and put filler in? I'm, I know some people have really bad and it makes them look super tired. You know, and if it makes you feel better, you should get filler, you know. 
but if you don't want to get filler like you don't have to you could if you feel good about yourself the way you are you know who cares if we have indentation you know i gotta say guys this is the most gorgeous contour shade i've ever used this one from i'm obsessed with this this one is from too faced i'm gonna just put a little bit of bronzer on though on top of the contour let's see how that looks yeah that's this is so pretty this is a mac mineral mineralized skin finish and it just kind of warms up your face but it's so pretty and i'm gonna put on just some lashes guys and i'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara because i'm gonna i have a natural pair of lashes i have these iconic light lashes from house of lashes they're the iconic light so I'm just going to pop some of those on and a lip and then I'm going to just go quickly take some pictures. Actually, I'm just going to give myself a spritz of my Allegra Chitty Beauty Mist. So this is just going to make everything look effortless and glowing skin and dewy and the makeup does not budge. It's amazing. I'm going to put on the lashes and I'll be back and we'll do a lip together. So guys, I just put on my lashes and I got to tell you, I popped some of this shade this uh, champagne kind of shade from the Madison Beer palette on my eyes and oh my god it is so gorgeous I really I, really, I just want to show you guys I don't know if you can see here but it's so gorgeous it's it's this is seriously my favorite palette I've ever used if I ran out of this palette I definitely would want to have I might buy a backup of this palette because I never want to be without this palette and since it's a collab maybe they won't make it anymore I don't know but because this is so beautiful I can't believe my eyes and this is not even wet or anything it just comes out just the most perfect gorgeous champagne shade that I've ever used I did put a little on my nose too because I just can't help myself guys and then I put on a little bit of this hourglass this is the incandescent blot incandescent electra blush this is such a gorgeous blush and it's so effortless it's just amazing so i'm just gonna pop on a lip and then i'll go put on my bikinis and i can go take those pictures i could finally take the photo shoot so this is just a dior lip liner this is such a good lip liner it is a bit more pricey but it's so it it just fills in your lip line perfectly so you don't see your natural lip if you kind of want to you know overdraw your lips a bit and then I just, I think I love the Dior lip products just so much. But I did get a KKW lip I love the other day. But anyway, this is the Dansante Nude Lip. It's just such a beautiful nude lipstick, nude lips. So guys, I think that's pretty good to go. I'll just do another spray. My Beauty Mist. So now I'll just brush out the curls since they've been kind of sitting. And I'm just going to go put on those bikinis and we'll be all finished. So dolls, this is the finished look. OMG, if... You have to get your hands on this palette. This is, palette is amazing. And love the foundation. Love everything. So I'm going to go put on the bikinis and take some pictures. And that will be my photo shoot vlog. My photo shoot get ready with me today video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll insert some clips of the photo shoot if you guys want to check it out. But I will be back and I'm going to do a cup she try on haul. And I'm going to try on everything with you guys and show you exactly how they fit. That will be in another video coming soon. So they are super amazing bikinis. They fit so good. The material super high quality and they're all under $30. Pretty much only one, the white one with the cutout sides is $32.99. But the rest of them are all about $20 and they are phenomenal quality. That's why I love working with them. I love their bikinis. I could not love Cupshe more. So I'll be back guys and I'll try on all the bikinis with you guys so you can see how they fit. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for, much for coming and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up if you liked today's video. And comment below if you love, if you think, do you guys think this makeup looks more natural? Or is it like the same thing? <laughs> In real life, it looks a bit more natural. You, you will see. If you try that foundation, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope you're all doing good. And I'll see you soon. Bye. I love you.